Hey everybody, what's going on? We're back with some Watcher and we have uh, a lot to catch up on today. I streamed it yesterday actually for a while uh, over at twitch.tv slash jgigs, which I will do again occasionally. I, I, I do a bit of variety over there on Twitch, but we will definitely do some Watcher again on stream. It is, uh, it's, it's a pretty good time. And we'll talk about what all we have to catch up on first, uh, but, but first I should say, uh, if you're not in the Discord, or Watcher of Realms, you should check it out. I uh, I finally joined the Discord yesterday and they've got a lot of cool stuff going on in there that I've never seen before for a mobile game. There, there's you, there's a way to link it uh, to your account when you're, when you're kind of joining the Discord. And then there's a lot of mini games and stuff. There's daily check-ins, there's a accounting game that I won in like my first two tries. <laughs> Uh, there's one called Last Letter. It's it's they're pretty fun mini games, but also when you win them, uh, it'll it'll give you points, and sometimes it'll DM you a code for in-game items, and they're actually pretty good. There's also a Halloween one going on. I'm, I'm actually gonna see what what we got from my code right now. Um, by the way, they're I'm, I'm not even a, an official content creator for the game. Nobody's telling me to do this. I just think this is really cool, and I think that. It's possible that a lot of people don't know about it. So, redemption successful. Let's go see what we got. And then I'll show you what I got from my last one as well. Uh, so for this one, it was 50 crystals. Uh, this one was 100 crystals, 100 diamonds rather, and a four star uh, psychic power. So that's pretty good just for joining the Discord <laughs> and, uh, and engaging with it a little bit. You know what I mean? And again, I didn't even know that you could have these kinds of mini games and stuff in a Discord, but it's pretty cool. There's at least two mini game channels, and then they've got a Halloween one going right now as well. That's pretty cool. So, again, if you're not in their Discord, you should check it out. Um, pretty pretty neat stuff. Now, as far as what we got going on in the game, what did we do on stream yesterday? So yesterday on stream, uh, I was informed about the guaranteed legendary pack which i did not know about so we added that to our um to what we've spent so far still trying to keep it relatively reasonable there's a couple of other things i wanted but i think for at least the next week or so week or two i've kind of hit roughly where we're gonna sit on on low spend so um we ended up getting abomination from it which on one hand, he's a fusion, so it's like, oh man. But on another hand, I can fuse him now, and uh, and uh, and awaken him. So that'll be pretty. That'll be pretty dope. I'm not really too bent, bent up about it, and I kind of needed it. I've been wanting to replace uh, Ardith anyway. I can actually awaken him. I have a copy of him. Oh no no no! I have that thing. Okay, so I can awaken. I can awaken any epic I want. Interesting. What do you get when you get awake? When shielded by evil. All right, well, we'll have to think about that a little bit. But yeah, I've been informed that Dolores is really, really good. So we're going to probably work on getting her built up pretty soon. We got, I can't remember if this happened in a video or not, but we got Ain. I did not realize he was a Lord when I got him though. I got him from the seven day login. Um, what else, what else, what else? Beyond that, we've just kind of been working on making everybody stronger. I'm still leaning really hard into her because holy cow, she's so strong. Uh, I did finally get him, excuse me, five star promoted last night. I've been working on getting some more promotions and some other ones I want to get. Um, kind of want to get all the ones I'm using to five star promoted. So that's kind of what we've been working on right now. We did get the artifact from the shop so i'm pretty happy about that i put it on comet we're doing all our bounties i found out yesterday i don't know how i overlooked it but you can refresh if there's a bounty that you don't want to do or that you can't do because sometimes it would it would want to take me to a dungeon i hadn't even unlocked yet Ooh, excuse me you can refresh them and you can refresh them quite a few times and you'll see what I did here. I refreshed until I kind of got to double up. So these two I knocked out in the same motion. And then these two I kind of knocked out in the same motion. And there's a lot of 
like i think you could probably get all four of them to be for one dungeon if you really wanted to so um it's it's a shame i, I missed that until so late in the event but what are you gonna do now we know for next time uh what are we in first place in we're just oh yeah because we've been doing a lot of promotion raids um a lot of promotion raids let's talk about what valkyra is doing for us because again i don't think we were i don't think we had accomplished this we did we got quite a bit done on stream yesterday so um one thing that i want to talk about is i believe it's in here let's take a look so yeah we can auto stage 15 now and it is 100 percent because of her <laughs> she is she is basically soloing it for us. I'll let you guys see her run. Basically, all we're having, all we're doing is is making sure that something is in the lane to stop what's coming for just a second. As long as my tanks don't get one shot, uh, she pretty much does this by herself, which is insane. And and uh, if she's not there, my tanks do get melted pretty quickly. Um. She's, she's pretty ridiculous. And we weren't... I expected the, the first extreme stage to, um, to like, completely wipe us out. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. We, we're, we weren't too far off from being able to do the extreme stage. Uh, but my tanks need to be able to hold up a little bit better. Because uh, it's going to take her a little bit longer to get the kills. But even on this stage, it, aside from these guys... The tanks don't even need to be there. She can kill everything else in two hits, and she can get those two hits out before they've walked past. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy how strong she is, dude. So uh, anyway, that's that's what we've been doing with her. We've, we've pushed up in a couple of other dungeons pretty far, kind of just relying on her as well. So uh, she's, she's definitely, so far, had the biggest impact of anybody I've pulled. I keep hearing about how amazing this guy is, and I'm not, I'm not experiencing it yet. I'm, I'm wondering if I got to get a little bit later into the game, get him more, more uh, fully built, or uh, like he's definitely good. But I'm feeling the impact of her way more than anybody else right now. So uh, I'm still leaning into him because everybody's saying how good he is. But he's, I'm not quite seeing it the way I'm seeing how good she is yet. Is all I'm saying. Uh, we are starting to get out of the habit of using quick equip. So we're actually going going in now and, and manually gearing champs. We've only manually geared her and her uh, and him so far. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then everybody else, I did throw a quick clip back on just so I could continue to do stuff. But I'm going to kind of go through my roster and work on manually equipping them because quick equip does not seem to be the best approach here. All right. So... That's something we're working on. Where else? Where else should we talk? Uh, guild, guild boss. We can one key hard now, uh, but nightmare is quite a step up for us. I tried to do nightmare last night and it did not go well. Um, but this this week can get one key. I went ahead and put both. I don't know if we call it a key in this game. One stone it, but uh, yeah, that, that's where we're at on that. Tide is still very easy. I feel like it's going to be a while before Tide starts to get hard. I'm still well in the grain before I start every wave. Um, so, so I think that's probably going to be easy for a while. You know what I do need to do is jump back in and push campaign a little bit further. Oh, we, we did finally get through that thing that was holding us up in here. I don't even remember what it was now. But now we need to clear stage 12 of marksman raid and marksman raid is, is the one where we're struggling we don't have a lot of marksmen and i know mages can also help in there I, I did pull a couple more maybe we can build a couple more but with what i've got it's just not enough we just we uh, I, I got up to stage 11 i think yeah i'm on stage 11 and we just get over overwhelmed so 
Uh, I think I need to build. I might throw some gear on these mages and see if they can help us out. Because I would like to get through that. What else? What else do we have to catch up on? Arena? How are we doing in Arena? Silver 2. We're doing pretty good in Arena. What I've got set up right now seems to be working pretty well for us. That seems like a much further advanced team than my team. I I, I, th I think we're going to lose every match we go into in Arena, honestly. And I think I've only lost like twice, like two or three maybe. And sometimes we start off real slow. Like we'll lose the first round or two, but then sometimes they'll, they'll come back. But whatever whatever setup we've we've cooked up here uh, has has seemed to serve us well in most fights. Oh, you hit him with default. Oh, we snuck it out. I thought for sure they were winning that round. And it doesn't matter how much life they have left. It just matters if they're alive. I think how much damage they do to your core or whatever. It's Wow, we, we spanked them. I thought they were going to beat us, dude. Because they've got... They had everybody five-star promoted. They had them all awakened a couple of times. I thought I thought we were going down on that one. But anyway, that's what we got going on in Arena. Um, so yeah, I think, I think probably what I'll do... So today on stream, I'm going to be playing uh, Madison. It's supposedly one of the scariest games ever made um but whenever that ends and i get back to, to grinding here i think what i'm going to focus today why is this lit up oh because of that i didn't see that i've never i don't i've never noticed that <laughs> we'll do this too real quick oh wait what is this Action Trial Raid is now available. Apart from Basic Trial Raid, there's also other Faction Trial Raid, in which only heroes of the corresponding faction can be selected. The trial of each faction opens in turn. Meeting the requirements of each stage will earn you one of three stars. Okay. I don't even understand why I unlocked this just now. Oh, this is, this is what I've done. I've done Basic, and then this is... Okay, all right, so this, okay. I don't like, there's a red dot. Is it because of that? Uh, all right, here it is. But anyway, yeah, I think, I think what I'll try to focus today is getting back through, getting back to pushing through the campaign because I think we've gotten quite a bit stronger since the last time I tried to do any campaign. I think the the champs that I already had have have come quite a long way, and having abomination now I think is going to be pretty helpful. So we'll uh, we'll probably get back to that, and I need to get start getting prepared for the fusion because that now we can get in. I got to remember all the terms. I think it's awaken awakening in him when we do fuse another copy of him. So. Hopefully the next summon session we're gonna we're gonna save up um, until the two X starts, which is I think gonna be my Friday evening. So maybe I'll record it on Friday evening, or maybe I'll just wait till Saturday morning and do it. But uh, we've got some a pretty good pile of summons. I think I'm sitting on thirty nine summons right now, and I'm sure we'll accumulate a few more throughout the week. So. We should we should be in for a pretty good little summon session. Hopefully, we can snag a, a new legendary, and then maybe we can get some more pieces of the abomination fusion as as a bit of a bonus. 
but yeah, made, made a made a, made good good progress yesterday. Yesterday was a big day. It felt like in the account we got a lot of stuff done, getting to stage 15 in in one of the promotion raids. We're high in all of the other ones except the marksman one. We struggle in the marksman one because I just don't have enough aerial slash AOE assault right now. But yeah, a lot of stuff is starting to click. I'm starting to understand more, like a lot more of the game. Very, very, a lot less of it is kind of ambiguous to me right now. Um, I think someone said something about something called The Void that I think I unlock at level 40. So that'll be interesting. And we just unlock, I guess we just unlocked the new addition to Faction Wars. Faction Wars, whatever it's called, Faction Raid. So many games, so many different terms, just always swirling around in here, you know? I gotta decide who I wanna six star first as well. I, of course, wanna lean into her. I really like Valkyra. She's my favorite champ that I have so far. I'm a big fan of her. She's been ridiculous for me. Um, but there's also a part of me that's like, dude, she doesn't even need to be six star. She's doing so much at five star. I'm kind of wondering if I should six star somebody else so they can kind of catch up to what it feels like she's doing. So I don't know. Maybe Comet. I think I'm probably torn between her and Comet. I almost want to six star her just out of principle. But again, she really doesn't feel like she needs it. It's gonna be a minute anyway. I still got a bit more food to make. I am gonna try. I did get one of the red, whatever those red crystals are called that are in the event shop, the Halloween event shop, that are used in materials to six star somebody. I did get one of those. I'm gonna to try to get the other ones before the event ends. And then, like I said, I'm just gonna to continue to work my way down as much as I can with, with what's left of the Halloween event. But yeah, there you go. Gimme. Give Gimme give my stuff. But yeah, I think I reckon that's about it. Like I said, I'm going to work on pushing campaign probably today when I when I find the time to do so and uh, and see how how much further we can get there. The materials I'm talking about. I don't have it at max level, but they're um these things. An essential material used to promote so I don't know specifically what role it plays because I don't even have any five stars maxed out yet to see. I don't know what role it plays in the six star. I'm, I'm assuming it's it's similar to. Uh... Well, no, because that's promotion. So yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Um, if I need extra materials or if it's just a matter of having food, maybe that's like a chicken. I'll find out when I get there. But anyway, uh, I, th I believe we're pretty much all caught up. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow with hopefully a lot of campaign progress to report. So uh, yeah, again, check out the Discord if you have it. There's some cool stuff in there and you can get some pretty decent rewards from time to time, it seems like. And uh, that's it. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, another update. So appreciate y'all watching. You have a good one.